tonight on Right Turn Garage TV, we have something different. Something I've been really curious about. These here, these are the Amazonian special type seats I've been telling you about. And we're going to do an install. Uh, I've been waiting for a minute because, well, I've been playing catch up, to tell you the truth. And last night I had to really clean this interior and just look at it. Just. You know what? I bet you if I get this top out of the way, you could see a lot more gooder, but I mean, dang it, you can't see it. Anyway, what I'm trying to show you on this, this is an advertisement for free, I guess, because this is what I use on cleaning interior for the most part. That's right, just ordinary, the cheapest, one of the cheapest you can grab. It smells good. This right here, you can see what I cleaned versus what I didn't. And I'm not kidding you, that right there is five minutes worth of work with a drill. And this was like a set of, um, set of three or four, I don't know, however many was in this bag of Amazonian type special that's what it says. I mean, it's it's clearly a a good one. You can tell because the packaging really expensive, like twelve bucks or fifteen or something or ten. I don't really remember, but that saved me. Like, I mean, check that crap out, dude. That's for real. You can have. I had the carpet done in this thing. All of it up front i mean from the gas pedals back to the rear seat area now i didn't do up over this hump yet i didn't do this as you can see i didn't even vacuum it but all this other i did in like 15 20 minutes that's pretty darn good that's scooting but anyway sorry i'm getting distracted these are the amazonian type seats now they are, how do I want to say it? They are uh, cost efficient. They are frugal. They are, they're cheap seats, okay? Um, I don't remember the exact brand. They have like seven different ones that's built like this, right? And you can get them a, a loads of different ways. I went with gray because I have gray and black interior. And I didn't want black seats. You know, I kind of already have that going on with the uh, Banditas. And whenever you don't have a towel over the seat in the summertime, I used to like that. Excuse me. I do all my own stunts too, just so you know. Um, anyway, so whenever you don't have or when you do have black seats, your legs kind of just like, what the world? Let go, daggone you. I'm trying to pop this thing here. You know what? <sighs> I went with gray because gray, I thought would be more gooder, not as common. And where I have black and gray seats anyway, and black and gray door panels, it would break up the interior a little bit. And the back of these seats are actually black. So, I'm gonna have the original rear seat covered in this vinyl material. And it's gonna be black on the back side as well. Now, there is a catch to these seats. I don't know if you can use your original brackets or not. I don't know. I didn't try it. I instead bought these. These are what they call planted seat brackets. Now, I don't really know what that means, but that's the eBay-ish name of it right there. And they are marked driver, well, that's driver and passenger. So I really, really didn't feel like fooling with cutting off the brackets and finding out they won't match up and there's a good reason 
and its name is Gold Chariot, the old 69. See, the faster we get done with this one, not that we've really been in a rush, but I mean, we're trying to do this one somewhat fast-ish, but we want quality at the same time. So that's why we're going with these seats. I wanted to change the seats, make this thing a little more gooder, a little more comfy, and just change the sound, just, just tweak it just a little bit. Not much, just, just a little tweaking. So we're gonna put those in tonight. The first thing I think we're gonna do is, we'll have to find out which way these seat brackets go. And I'm betting, yep, these go up front. This goes like this, I'm sure of it. And then those are magic and they're back there, but maybe. First, we're gonna see which way these things go in the car, and then we're gonna line them up on the very bottom of here, because these already have a slider, which is really awesome. I'm pretty happy about. So I'll be able to slide back and forth, and uh, people can adjust for being taller than me. Whatever, I'm fine with it, it's fine. But you know, I ain't getting nothing done sitting here talking, so give me a few minutes. We're going to throw back the top so you guys can see better. I'm going to get a flashlight, and uh, yeah, we're going to... Let me show you one cool thing, one cool thing, okay? So in the midst of the metal repair, I had to remove this spare tire because I had to patch that inner fender, right? How many freaking cars do you know? This is the original spare, which that's not a big deal. This is the original can of air. Not that. This. The screwed on from the factory and aired the stinking tire up. How cool. I can tell you this. I've had five, seven, twelve. I think I've had at least five of these. Maybe more. I don't really remember. And I have never seen that. So that's that's real cool. Okay, so anyway, now we're going to do the other part that I said I was going to do three minutes ago. So just give me a second. Um, so far, boys and girls, I ain't going to lie. I love that I had bought those brackets. They lined it up. They lined up really good for this seat. I mean, I'm pretty happy with that. So, and these also line up perfect for the passenger side. So, do you want to take a ride with me? And by ride, I mean just sit there and like watch old dad bring your seat in. We're coming in hot, boys. We're coming in hot, okay? So, hopefully, we don't knock over this camera in the process. Look how pretty that come out, all right? Geronimo, there you are. All right, hold on one sec. Try to get this thing finagled in here. We're just gonna do that. That seems like the right thing to do. There we go. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Wow. I hope you guys saw that. That sucker just... You know what? I'm gonna say it. 
it's it's gooder it's not too bad or at all i even got it dirty dang it i'll tell you how i got it dirty it's that stinking thing but you know what there's gonna be more dirt dirt gum it's all right but it does line up dare i say perfectly except <sighs> i'm gonna let you in on a little tidbit I think I messed up. Yeah, I'm about 100% sure I just messed up. And I'll tell you how. Because, let me just give you a little visual. I'm not sure. Hold on. Yep. Because this lever right here, you know, the old tilt machine. <laughs> guess where i just put that one at i just put that on the inside of this daggone seat because i'm smart like that so back to the drawing board we're gonna see this is why i do these videos that way so you don't repeat what i just did which is put the wrong bracket the right bracket on the wrong seat yeah yeah because if it's over here you can adjust it because there's nothing there over there there's going to be a console yeah and a seat belt so um less than 312 pay attention pay attention pay attention and think about it before you execute it. Because it actually, I mean, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. This thing lined up so stinking good. But I'll show you whenever I get it right, okay? <sighs> All right. Give me another like 15, 28 minutes. We'll have it switched around and we're going to do it again. All right? So, lesson learned. We're, we're going to come back bigger, stronger, better, more gooder. All right, just give me a few minutes. I may have forgotten a step in between the steps that I was stepping. So before you try to bolt in this seat, well, this is, this is how I was doing it. I was unwrapping it clear down here. One, because my workbench is filthy. I mean, it's got grindings and all that crap all over it from welding. Well, grinding. So, I was trying to keep the seat as clean as I could. Just to get the brackets to where they need to be. Second off, before you install. Before you install. Put your front seat belts in. Because you will not be able to reach them <laughs> once the seats are in. I almost made a big boo-boo. So yeah but before you do any of this these seats these brackets they did not i repeat they did not come with bolts so i went to the parts store you know and like uh, i bought a few for future projects current projects y'all hear that crap that's the wind dude wow so yeah that's that's really a whipping out there i guess because it's going to be like 57 tomorrow and it was 72 today i don't know if that's got anything to do with it but you know that's crazy so anyway these seat brackets in order to i don't know if i can do this with one hand or not let's say you want to get a bolt in this one right there what I did was pushed in on this and pulled up on that. I can't do it one-handed because I don't have that much skill, okay? That, I'm just going to say it. Now, now you got easy access to it, right? And you can do the exact same thing to this feller. I, I probably can't get it the right angle, but... Hello, neighbor. 
So I pulled up on that, pulled that sucker out, and then I'm looking, and they are even. Now, this absolutely, this this company right here planted. That isn't some hippie thing. That's because these are planted or I think are are they called planted seat brackets? I think they're called planted seat brackets. Unless you have a seat that bolts on the side, you're gonna need something like this. And not gonna lie, I am very, 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 very impressed. Now, there is a catch 22 to these seats. That is. Remember how I said these were 300 and, well, let's see, hold on, carry the one, COVID. Yeah, these used to be $330 seats. Now I think they're 370 or something like that for this particular style and um, inflation. So yeah, uh, 370 bucks for these. Not bad, because that's brand new in the plastic. You put them on. The other part that's not so good are, I'm not saying you can't make your own brackets. You absolutely can. It is going to be time consuming. If you've got nothing but time, you're retired, or you just like coming out to your big old garage and, but you got enough projects, you know? So, I mean, look at this. This sucker is heavy gauge steel. That sucker is not playing around. I don't fear that there will ever be a problem with the seat bracket. So I would absolutely recommended, recommended, recommend getting these. Now this sticker goes to the front of the seat. I did learn that. And I believe these are a three eighths bolt by about half an inch. And if you put them right in there, they kind of get locked. So you don't have to hold that. See, huh, huh? Method to the madness, boys. Now, here comes the tricky part. And hopefully, hopefully, the old tripeta, it'll be working. I'm gonna do one at a time. Now I already know which bracket hole I need to go in. So, I'm going to purposely let that dangle just for a sec. Can you see me now? Can you? Hey, hey, there you are. Hey, how are you? I mean, we're gonna we're gonna make this look prettier than a giraffe in high heels. You know what I'm saying, Nicole Frazier or Jason Joseph's wife? Yeah, you know who you is. I ran into her and Hobby Lobby, and you know. She's a good singer. She's a good friend I used to work with. But anyway, so now I don't know if you watched the show or not. Uh, so, okay, there's that one. Now, that's just the way I did it, guys. That's You can do it however the heck you want. Now, you don't want to tighten them till you get all four in, promise you. Another little trick, you might want to throw some Loctite on these threads. For the simple fact, unless you use a lock nut and or a lock washer, she may come loose on you eventually. Okay? So, that's up to you, however you want to do it. But you see, I got that there. Now, this bottom feller, you're gonna do the exact same thing, except for now, See that? She comes down automatically adjusted for you. So now you gotta find where going. That's in the way. That's in the way. Anything else? And see where we've already had it bolted. We know exactly where we gotta go. Now, these bolt holes in the back, I ain't gonna lie, I had to wiggle on them a little bit. But they go in and they go in fine. You know, they're they're a little tricky, not too bad. But I think, can you see it? Maybe. Whoa. All right. So, means I didn't tighten down that yet. 
go in through the back, giggity, and I'll show you a trick an Indian taught me. Now we got this little fella in, right? It's only gonna go on one or two threads at the most right now. And the reason why is, it's kind of pinched. Let me get a light. I got a light, hold on a second. What happens is that bolt's kind of pinched, it's kind of wedged. Um, there's a reason why I don't want you to see that yet. Because the driver's seat may be in it already. It, it may. Whoa, okay. So, see how that, she just, you know, can't see nothing. What in the world? This light, it blinded me. Anyway, you're gonna have to trust me. It's wedged in there just a little bit. So, what you can do, in order, just snug him down a little. You don't have to, you don't have to hit the old max. Cheat, 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 cheat. Just snug him down just a little bit. Back him off a little. That way so you can get this guy in over here. And if you're saying, well, why don't you put the nut on top and then just throw the bolt in? Well, there's a slight issue. I'm afraid if I do, these bolts are going to interfere with this slide. So, if I have one that fits down deep in, darn it, hold on, let me show you. Can you see? Probably not. But there's a bolt way, way down in there. They purposely made a little, little dip just for a bolt right in there. I mean, it's perfect. And it's, it's out of the way. So, that's the reason why. If you go trying to thread a nut or thread a bolt up this way, you're gonna have, you know, possibly that much sticking up through that's actually gonna interfere with this slide. So believe me, there is a method to the madness, I promise you. So, you just say, what are you doing? They got tight, just a little too tight. She's a stubborn burger, buddy. Anyway, the only thing I'm gonna do is, I'll say, what's wrong with you? Why won't you? It may have snugged up somewhere. You wanna keep it not so snugger. And then, this is a perfect example. And of course, you're up there and you're probably looking at my crap on the shelf. So I'll show you. You see how this is coming in at an angle? I mean, you're gonna have to trust me. And I've got like, yep, right there's coming through. So what I'm gonna do, this is gonna happen to you. I promise you. Both that's gonna help you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't be falling there, guy. Hopefully you can see this. So I'm gonna grab this, push on the back of the bolt, and I'm just gonna manhandle the poopy out her. Come on now. I might just go. And what we're gonna try to do, the goal is to stick this washer on and at least start one nut. And what that'll do is bring that down and let it get into position. There we go. You might have to lift, oh, you darn thing. Now I had to lift up on the back of the bracket to get me that thread that I need. On the back, uh, bottom side of this bracket, just lift it. Not going you. You serious? Anyway. There we go. Now, what I'm gonna do is tighten these all down, and then we're gonna take a look at what they look like in the mullet machine. Alright? Give me a few minutes and we get to see success, all right? Give me just a sec. 
Well, um, I'm not going to lie. This was probably one of the more gooder type installments that's happened. I mean, I'll let you be the judge, though. You know, that just looks way, way, way more gooder. And let me see. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Now, I'm not a very tall man. I know, you know, these cameras can add like an extra foot or something. Is that right? An extra 10 inches? I forget how it goes. But anyway, this thing, I, I, these things are a upgrade indefinitely if you have a definitely an 80s Camaro. Um, I can vouch for the IROC ones because I never did really care for the seats a whole heck of a lot. But this just went from gooder to way more gooder. So there is, um, I'll show you guys one real quick way. Oh man, got my 30 plus year old carpet dirty. So if you want to get these front butt, front bolts easy, just rock the seat back. Now, for the rear ones, come on. There is no good way. That one's right there. That one's actually easy. Let me show you. All right. Like I was saying, that one, not so bad. This one, you can get from, see him right there? You can get him right here from the driver's side. And this is where those ratcheting wrenches come in handy. However, the biggest pain in the butt on the F bodies for these seats is the driver rear closest to the door. Um, you cannot, I could not, I don't want to say you cannot, I could not get a ratchet in there, ratchet wrench, but just an open end and turn a little turn at a time. But these aren't real long winded bolts, so that's not a bad thing. And uh, I'm not going to lie, fellas, I'm digging these. These things really just, <laughs> I really like. I can't wait to put the rear seat recovered in with this nice gray vinyl. And, you know, she's going to match up on the doors pretty well. It's just going to make it different. And that's ultimately the goal. Granted, you don't see IROC Z convertibles every day, but you never see them with any kind of, at least where I'm from, you don't really see them. And then whenever you do, they're just, they're usually ragged out or ragged out looking like this one was and sort of might still be look, but you know, we're, we're erasing all that. We're starting brand new. We're, uh, we're making it great again. So anyway, um, the seats, I don't want to give off the perception that 370 bucks is going to get you there. The seat brackets are expensive. They're as much as the seats. So I think the seat brackets were about 170 a piece. Yes, I know. But that ought to soften the blow for you whenever you go to buy these seats. That you're not just going to spend what you think you're going to spend and roll with it. Now you can draw holes, drill holes in the floor. Throw you some new bolts up in there. If you want to go that route, that's on you. However you do your project, you do your project. I'm trying like heck not to modify this sucker any more than I really, really have to. Because this car really is... I want to keep it... A, a somewhat stock of experience, you know what I mean? And I don't want it cobbled. I bought the seat brackets because I don't want it cobbled. You know, the seats I bought brand new just because I wanted different seats. And I'm not gonna lie, these suckers are actually very comfy. So, 
I've read a few reviews on it before I just jumped into it. I recommend you do the same. But, you know, these are, these are honestly some of the cheaper ones on the Amazonian type site. And if I got any tips, it would be to get the brackets. Absolutely. Buy the stinking brackets. Save your time. And it's worth the money. So... Hopefully this was helpful to you guys. Um, I'll, I'll do a follow-up on it after, I don't know, maybe a year or so. Or if I have any issues with these seats, I'll make sure and tell you guys. Um, but overall, and it really it feels good sitting in that driver's seat and going through those gears. It's, it's going to be a fun ride. I'm pretty excited for, uh, for this summer because she will be out and on the prowl, I promise you. So, anyway, guys, uh, man, I'm, I'm just so excited about this. So, guys, thanks for watching. I hope this guy's, hope this guy's helped you. I hope this guy's helped you. But um, I hope this helped you guys. And, I mean, this is an honest review here, man. I mean, definitely buy the brackets, the planted ones. Don't go cheap. You will regret it. These fit perfectly. The holes lined up perfectly for an IROC. Uh, and these were for 82 to 92, I believe. So if you got an 82 and a 92, expect you're gonna have an extra, extra expenditure whenever it comes to seat brackets if you want it done what I would consider the right way. And I don't think you'll go wrong. You're gonna be pretty happy with your purchase. But again, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate every one of you. I hate to ask, but if you don't mind, it's right, where is it? Is it? It's somewhere down in there. That old subscribe button. Hit it, I'd appreciate it. Thanks for watching, guys. Y'all have a great weekend. We'll see you next time here on Right Turn Garage TV.